Hey guys, welcome to Hyla Cooking. Don't you just love corn dogs? I do. Today we're gonna make homemade corn dogs with homemade batter and we're gonna homemade fry them in our homemade deep fryer. It's actually a deep fryer that I bought. But anyway, let's do it! All right, I'm assembling the batter. And here I have cornmeal, flour, baking soda, baking salt, wait, baking salt, <laughs> baking powder, and salt. And then I'm mixing my wet ingredients here. The recipe calls for buttermilk, um, but I didn't have any because I screwed up. I'm sorry. But I put regular milk in and just added like a teaspoon of vinegar. Voila, buttermilk. Now I'm gonna grate a third of a cup of onion. Okay, so I'm gonna use a microplane because I like it super little, but if you want little chunks, you could use a bigger grater or you could dice it with your knife or you could put it in the blender or you could put it in a bag maybe and then hit it with a hammer a bunch and pulverize it like the Hulk would do. I don't know how effective that would be, but it might be fun. Now this is not going to be one third of a cup by the time I'm done because it's so amazingly mashed but that's okay because I know that that hunk of onion that I cut off was about a third of a cup worth of onion in volume. So we'll still get the same amount of onion flavor. Okay, whatever. Put that in with my homemade buttermilk. And I'm crying because it's so good. Put that little bit in there and then eight ounces of this. This is a 14 ounce can. So that means just a little bit more than half the can. I think. You guys tell me if I'm wrong because math was not my strong subject. Just kidding, I was pretty good at math. Okay, just combine that together. And then we'll pour this into our big bowl of dry ingredients and whisk it together to combine. Ew, it sounds gross. Here I go. Now you don't want to mix it too much. If there's still some lumps, that's okay. Um, just get all the dry stuff from the bottom. Okay, this looks good. Um, I'm gonna set it aside to rest while my oil heats up. Uh, in that 10 minutes, the corn cornmeal is gonna absorb the liquid. The batter's gonna really thicken up a lot. So it's very important for thickening and also to soften the cornmeal granule so you don't get real gritty um, batter. If it's too thick when you're done, um, you can add a little bit more milk, but we'll, we'll check out that out. And right now, I'm gonna get some dogs on some sticks and get some oil hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we ready to make some corn dogs. I got my fry daddy. I got a bunch of shortening I'm gonna put in here. You can use peanut oil, but I personally like shortening because it's easier to clean up. And also, um, I love trans fats and heart disease. Just kidding. Um, I just, whatever, it's once a year. I'm not gonna kill myself this way. Probably not. Um, this fry daddy that I have only has one heat temperature on. Uh, I have no, I lost the manual, so I don't know what temperature it fries at, but um, it fries to golden brown temperature. That's what I'm talking about. So this whole thing goes in here. All right, I put some paper down because I don't want to get oil all over my fancy countertops that I just bought. So uh, you could put it, I, normally I put an old towel down, but I don't know where that old towel went. That's clean. Who wants to lick the canister? Okay, I'm gonna plug this baby in like so, and that's gonna start heating up right away. Um, in the meantime, I have my dogs, and uh, I have them on a plate of cornmeal, or cornstarch, and that's important because that's gonna help the batter stick to them. So you just wanna like, Roll them around the cornstarch, and um, and then stab them with the stick, like they're a vampire. And then stick this gently, gently. Do not want to puncture the sidewalls of the hot dog. 
Just keep it going straight and easy, just easing it in, just easing it in, easing it in. You should look at your hot dog when you're doing this, but I'm a pro, so I can look at the camera and do it. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of these while that oil heats up. It's already melting real good. Last insertion. I should be a wiener surgeon. Okay, I'm just gonna get these all covered in my um, stuff. Oh, I lied a little bit too. This is actually sweet rice flour because I ran out of cornmeal, but usually I use cornmeal, but I've tried this before too and it works, so. Give me a break. Either way. I don't really know what else to do with sweet rice flour besides use it to make American corn dogs. I'm gonna rinse my hands. That's heating up. I'm gonna check the, actually, F rinsing my hands. I love weenie juice on my hands. I'm gonna check the consistency. All right, this might be a teeny bit thick, but actually, as I stir it, it's loosening up a little bit. So I'm gonna not add any milk for now and try one, and if the batter falls off, then Somebody else has to eat that one. <laughs> All right, I remembered that I have a deep fry thermometer, so get your oil hot to uh, 375. This says 370, but it's been at that for a while, so I give up. Close enough. All right, I'm gonna dip a dog. So put it in like that, and then use a spoon to sort of scoop the batter. Give it a little twirl. Get it totally coated. All right. Hey. Give it a little spin and then put it in there. Just twirl it around in there. You can see it's already getting nice and golden brown and it gets real lumpy. It's not gonna look like the ones that you get at the state fair, but it's gonna taste 100 times better. Okay, apparently I have absolutely no sense of time because it's been one minute and that looks pretty beautifully brown to me. So I'm gonna set it on that paper to drain them for a second. Um, it's fun because you can imagine what kinds of weird shapes and faces are in your lumpies. That kind of looks like boobs all over it to me. Just a bunch of boobs. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna eat this one that's been cooling for a little while. Dip it in my secret sauce. I love corn dogs. Mm -hmm. Be careful if you give this to a small child because there's a stabby part in it. So, lesson learned kids, be careful when you eat. You can make your own corn dogs because this is America. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating my corn dog, but if you want the actual written down instructions, you can check out hylocooking.com and um, leave me some comments and stuff and be my fan on Facebook. And then we'll be BFFs forever. Bye! <laughs>